Alchemists Guild The Alchemists Guild is an ancient Westerosi order based in the city of King's Landing, claiming magical and arcane knowledge. If they ever did possess such powers, their knowledge and abilities have waned over the centuries, and they have been largely eclipsed by the Order of Maesters, who focus on scientific knowledge and disdain belief in magic. The alchemists have also drastically dwindled in number during the decline of their order, and unlike the maesters who have at least one representative at every major castle or town, it is uncommon to encounter the alchemists outside of one of the major cities of the Seven Kingdoms. The guild is based in the guildhall beneath Rainies's Hill in King's Landing. They are the only people in the Seven Kingdoms with the knowledge to create and handle the exceptionally dangerous concoction known as Wildfire, which members of the guild refer to as the Substance. Because of their ability to produce the volatile flammable substance, alchemists are colloquially known as pyromancers. Background The alchemists claim that they were capable of wielding powerful magical abilities many centuries ago, but similar to the warlocks of Karth in Essos, their powers waned over the generations. In more recent centuries, most of their claims were generally regarded as fanciful. The alchemists' guild received the patronage of House Targaryen during the reign of Maegar the Cruel, who was interested in the pyromancer's mastery over wildfire. The Targaryens still had dragons at the time, but they desired a more controllable tool for everyday use in minor wars and rebellions. After the dragons died out, about a generation after the Dance of the Dragons, the Targaryens became even more reliant on the use of wildfire in warfare. They remained faithful servants of the royal house for decades, but gradually lost influence to the Order of Maesters. The alchemists lost royal favor after the death of Prince Arian Targaryen, who killed himself by drinking wildfire in the belief that it would turn him into a dragon. The guild entered into a period of resurgence during the reign of the fire-obsessed Ares II Targaryen, who employed pyromancers such as Wisdom Rossart to execute his enemies. During the final stages of Robert's rebellion, Ares named Rossart as his hand commissioned the guild to create a weapon to be employed against Robert Baratheon. King's Landing, however, was sacked before it could be used. Many wisdoms disappeared in the sack, such as Rossart, secretly killed by Jaime Lannister, crippling the guild's leadership. With the Targaryens dead, the guild then went into a major decline. Game of Thrones, Season 2 Tyrion Lannister learns from his cousin Lancel that his sister Queen Cersei has been commissioning large amounts of wildfire from the pyromancers. As acting Hand of the King, Tyrion decides to pay a visit to the Guildhall of the Alchemists, accompanied by his bodyguard Bronn. He receives an enthusiastic welcome from the head of the Order, Wisdom Helene, who has not received visits or respect from high court officials since the reign of the Mad King. Helene touts the advantages of wildfire in warfare to Tyrion, though Bronn is skeptical. Helene complains that Bronn would treat him with more respect back when the Guild enjoyed royal favor, and wildfire was the key to the Targaryen's power. He then shows Tyrion that they have already amassed a massive stockpile of over 7,800 jars of wildfire, Tyrion is stunned, as this is enough to destroy the entire city if ignited while still within its walls. Tyrion commands that the alchemists won't be making wildfire for Cersei anymore, they will be making it for him. At the beginning of the Battle of the Blackwater, Tyrion has all of the wildfire loaded into an unmanned fire ship and sent towards the fleet of Stannis Baratheon as it sails up the bay to attack the city. The ship leaking wildfire, Bronn launches a flaming arrow to ignite it, setting off a massive explosion which destroys a large portion of Stannis's fleet. The damage is devastating, but Stannis continues his assault with his, significantly reduced, remaining forces. Ranks Wisdom, full-ranked members who oversee the preparation of the substance and ensure its purity. Adept at the alchemical mysteries. One of the wisdoms acts as the head of the order. Acolyte, tasked with using magic to create the substance. Apprentice, newly initiated recruits tasked with transporting and storing the substance. Known members. Wisdom, Rossart, made hand of the king by Ares II Targaryen and killed during the sack of King's Landing. Wisdom Helene, the current head of the guild. In the books. In the A Song of Ice and Fire novels, the Alchemist's Guild of King's Landing is an old and honored institution in Westeros, implied to be several millennia old. Over time they were gradually eclipsed by the Order of Maesters, who disdained belief in magic in favor of scientifically based knowledge. This long steady decline was interspersed with two major resurgences during the past 300 years, first during a long period of over 200 years when they enjoyed Targaryen patronage, and then, after a 50-year gap caused by the fiasco with Arian Targaryen, 
a second resurgence under the Mad King, Ares II Targaryen. The alchemists also used to boast that they had abilities even the maesters of the citadel did not have, such as the ability to transmute metals. However, they have not demonstrated this ability in living memory and many of their claims are today regarded as fanciful. Members of the alchemists' guild apparently don't take vows of celibacy the way members of the Order of Maesters do, as Haleen is described as a third-generation alchemist. While the alchemists had been in decline for many centuries, the Targaryen conquest 300 years ago gave rise to a major resurgence of the order. Even at this point they no longer possessed all of the magical abilities that myths claimed they once did, but the Targaryens relied upon them to produce wildfire, as a special weapon on the battlefield which was more reliable than dragons. After the dragons died out in a major Targaryen civil war 150 years ago, the Targaryens became even more reliant upon wildfire, and the alchemists enjoyed even more extensive royal patronage. Unfortunately, about 70 years before the War of the Five Kings, in a fit of insanity Prince Arian Targaryen, called Arian Brightflame, became convinced that if he drank a cup of wildfire, he would be transmuted into a dragon. He was wrong. After the incident with Arian, who was actually Maester Eamon's older brother, the alchemist's guild fell out of royal favor, and entered into another decline which lasted over 30 years. The order entered into a final resurgence began about 40 years ago, when King Ares II Targaryen succeeded to the throne, who became popularly known as the Mad King. Ares spiraled into insanity throughout his reign, and became increasingly obsessed with fire, particularly wildfire, the purest and hottest combustible substance known. This resurgence spanned the two decades of Ares's reign, and while this period was brief, it not only undid the damage of the Arian Bright Flame incident but saw the alchemists extend to high positions at court they have never had before. The pyromancers became the Mad King's trusted agents, as he began to frequently execute those he suspected of plotting against him by having them burned alive with wildfire. This only made even more lords oppose Ares, which in turn created more suspected traitors whom Ares felt he needed to burn. Ultimately King Ares had Lord Ricard Stark burned alive with wildfire in the middle of the throne room itself, a blaze personally set and supervised by Wisdom Rossart. This monstrous act sparked off Robert's rebellion, and over the course of the next year as the rebellion spread Ares grew completely paranoid, regularly having the alchemists burn even more victims. Tywin Lannister had already resigned as Hand of the King, and Ares appointed another four in rapid succession before the war ended. In the final days of the rebellion, Ares grew so frustrated with the third of these, Lord Carlton Chelsted, that he had the pyromancers burn him alive with wildfire, and then appointed Wisdom Rossart himself to replace Chelsted as Hand of the King, though Rossart had functionally replaced any hand as Ares's closest advisor ever since Tywin left. Nonetheless, Rossart served as hand for barely two weeks before the sack of King's Landing, in which Ares died. Upon learning that Ares meant to go through with his wildfire plot Jaime Lannister, one of Ares's own Kingsguard, killed both Ares and Rossart. The TV series has not mentioned this, but over the next several days during the chaos of the sack, Jaime proceeded to hunt down and kill the other leading wisdoms of the alchemists' guild, to ensure that none with knowledge of the wildfire plot survived. These included Wisdom Bellies and Wisdom Garrigus. The loss of so many of their senior leaders at once severely hobbled the alchemists' guild for years to come. Ares's penchant for burning people alive saw him make much use of the alchemists' skills, but King Robert had little use for them and they faded away in terms of power and influence after Ares's death. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.